Hello everyone, welcome to The Consuming Shadow. What is this game? Well, let me read the description from the official site. The Consuming Shadow is a procedurally generated horror adventure game with a Lovecraftian theme and gameplay inspired by such things as FTL, Eternal Darkness, and the board game Arkham Horror. Alright, I don't know about you, but that sounds like about the best thing ever. It sounds incredible. And if you're not sold yet, let me also read the story. The country has been plunged into a mysterious darkness, from which hideous creatures are spawning, spreading chaos from town to town. But these events are merely the herald for the arrival of a terrifying ancient god, due to appear at Stonehenge in 72 hours. You must travel from town to town, exploring dungeons and exterminating the minions of the shadow, in order to gather the four components of the banishment ritual, a four rune mantra which when cast at Stonehenge, will stop the evil god from entering our realm. But it's not as simple as that. As well as the ritual, you must also determine which god, out of three possible candidates, is the invader, as banishing the wrong one will result in failure. And even getting as far as the ritual will mean surviving countless trials with your body and mind intact. Yeah, this game just sounds amazing, and I've played it for about 10 minutes. Or so just to make sure it works on all of that and I really really like it so far and if that wasn't amazing enough this game is also completely free which is just kind of blows my mind yep it's completely free you can play it for yourself right now I'll have a link in the description to where you can check it out for yourself I actually heard about it from a site called creepygaming.net which is a really nice resource for finding out about games that you might otherwise miss many of which are free just like this one so I'll also have a link to that in the description other than that, the only thing there is to mention is that my usual playstyle is to go slow and I tend to analyze things. Also, this is in beta, as you can see down here, beta version 1.0.0.2. So it's not complete yet. It's still being worked on. So by the time you watch this video, if you go to play for yourself, it might be different. Might be improved. Well, let's get going. January 27th. 2012. Last night, I dreamt that I was killed by something horrible. Two details stand out. Stonehenge and Three Days. And I've learned not to dismiss my dreams when they get this vivid. I have the ability to encant runes in the ancient tongue, but I do not know what incantations sequence will banish the evil, nor do I know which evil to banish. What I do know is that I will never determine these things by sitting here, letting the time tick away. Alright, keeping with the theme of sanity and the Lovecraftian theme, I suppose. Right off the bat, you're given the option to shoot yourself. I can't take it anymore! No, 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 no. Now's not the time. Now's not the time. But, uh, yes, your sanity... <laughs> your sanity does definitely play into the game. And if it gets too low, I'm assuming you try to shoot yourself and you have to stop yourself from doing it. And I'm also assuming the lower your sanity is, the harder it is to stop yourself. Not entirely sure, but I'm sure I'll find out. Begin journey. 72 hours left. Alright. So I have 15 monies, full health, full sanity. <laughs> Don't look back. That's probably a good idea. It's 9.01 a.m. I can choose where I want to go. And I can also look at my supplies. Inject illegal drugs to temporarily restore sanity. No thanks, I'm good for now. <laughs> I like that they're just hanging there. Just, just hanging up there. All right, that's my equipment, of which I have none. It's my medical supplies at full, of course. These are my notes about the banishment ritual. Which, most of this just kind of retells what the story kind of already told you. Telling you that you need all of them. However, one interesting thing that they introduce here, which isn't mentioned in the story, is that, uh, this part. In the meantime, I could also use two or three runes to cast smaller level incantations. But is my mind prepared for that? So I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work out, but it looks like I can maybe use some of the... 
Maybe I can use a minor incantation at the expense of my sanity, maybe? Not sure. And yeah, that just retells what you need to do. Well, this is really interesting, though. So one of the gods is trying to break into our realm. That's the one I have to banish, of course. The second is assisting them. A third ancient one, for ineffable reasons of their own, is working against them. Which is very strange. So one's trying to come into our realm, one's trying to help that one, and another one is trying to stop them. Very strange. Okay, so the green icons mean that they're a safe town. No monsters. The red things mean that it's been taken over by the evil, I guess. And that's about it. It looks like I'm already in stone sport. Yeah, it's only eight miles. I could drive there. There's going to be monsters there, though, but I, I might have enough equipment to take them out. You do start with a pistol. Which, for some reason, is not shown here. But, uh, yeah, you do actually start with a pistol. Alright. Let's do it. I might be about to die. We'll see. But, I'm gonna drive. The stone sport we go. You have reached your destination. Stone sport. Okay. Here we go. May 21st, 2012. 918 AM, Stone Sport. This town is in pandemonium, in the most literal sense of the word. There are monsters openly attacking people in the street. There's so much screaming. The roads are loaded with cars desperate to escape. The shadow is being uncharacteristically brazen, but it should make things all the easier to identify the source of its influence here. Alright, let's <laughs> let's go deeper in. We'll see how this goes. This game does have permadeath, by the way, and procedurally generated elements, as it mentioned. So, the chance of dying is pretty damn high, but I'm also going to learn a lot in doing so, and each playthrough will be different. But I'm almost certainly not going to be able to finish this play th this game on my first playthrough. At least my first real playthrough, I mean, I did play it for like 10 minutes, and probably died before when I was testing it out. Investigate further. I passed through the town following the trail of the resistance effort, and found myself in the courtyard of a fairly new building. Rumor indicates that some kind of large monster made its lair there, and a group of defenders moved in to take care of it. Rumors go on to say that nothing has emerged from the building since. But these people didn't know how to handle these creatures, and I at least delude myself into thinking I do. The lair of a large monster. Sounds wonderful. Let's do it. Investigate further. Okay. Objective, find and exterminate the local leader of the minions. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, <laughs> I have six shots in my pistol. And I can also pistol whip them. So yes, this is health, that's sanity. I have no idea what this is. I assume that's items I can use or equip or something. This is to flee, which I don't want to do. These are just manual controls if you want to click on them. But you can also just use the keyboard, which is much, much better. Keyboard and mouse for this. Yeah, so the controls are okay. They're not the most responsive. They're a little bit weird, such as the fact that you have to stop moving to be able to pistol whip. So you have to, like, go up to a monster and just stop, calmly stop, and then try to whack him in the head. <laughs> which is really strange. So if you see me being kind of crappy at combat, it's probably a combination of the fact that I'm crappy at combat in this game, because I barely played it, but also also it's because of the controls. But it's not too bad. Different kinds of ammo, of which I only have one. My notes and all of that. No, no, I do not want to abandon it. Stay. These are my runes. I don't know anything about them at the moment. Go away. And this is a map of the zone. The green one is the one I'm currently in. Let's go. It just got very, very quiet. Awkward. Hold shift to run.
Oh, there's things inside of here. Question is where? What's in here? Mostly garbage, but there's a piece of sturdy wire I could probably twist into a lockpick. Ooh. Okay, cool. There's nothing more worth taking. Pick some locks now. Whoa. What is that? Oh god, did I seriously just miss? Oh, I shouldn't have even used my weapon. I should have pistol whipped it. Now I'm hurt and I'm down two shots. Also, what is this thing on the ground? Is that a body? Another victim of the shadow. Their body appears unharmed, but the face is contorted into a silent scream of agony. Ugh. I found three armor-piercing bullets, perhaps left over from some kind of police operation. Maybe. It's kind of weird that they put them inside of a filing cabinet, but okay. Alright. Armor-piercing bullets. Probably don't need to pierce any armor. But they're bullets nonetheless. Actually, maybe the leader of the minions will have armor or something. I don't know. Can use standard ones for now, though. No smoking. Least of my worries at the moment. Ooh, that sounds like something. What the fuck? What the hell? Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> I didn't actually take that much damage, but oh. There goes like all of my ammo. I don't even know if I could have attacked that thing with my melee attack. I don't know if it would reach. It was on the ground. Huh. Anyway, what did it drop? The syllable, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, had many uses in the language of the ancients, most notably as the third symbol of a notorious dispel. Purported to be powerful enough to banish a god. Hmm. There's nothing of importance left to do in this place. The longer I stay, the more time I lose. Updated ritual, dungeon complete, okay. Return to the car. I guess that was the big thing I needed to kill. That wasn't too bad. Right, so now I know that the third part of the ritual is EU. This is like I can just leave, but I should look around for equipment, and at least now I know it's safe. Oh, you can switch ammo with the number keys. Neat. That's handy. Ooh. The Agen rune has been inscribed on the wall here. It appears to be a staking of claim or mark of territory. Alright, so I didn't note that in my notes. I wonder if I should write it down. I don't know. Well, I'm going to assume that the game is going to take any notes that I need for itself, and if it doesn't, then I guess on my next playthrough I'll actually take manual notes. Whoops. Alright, I can go down. Here we go. I found a discarded wallet containing six pounds. Excellent. The uh, KZ rune has been inscribed on the wall here. My gut tells me it's a blessing, or giving of thanks, or expression of love directed at the rune itself. Hmm. Alright, looks like that's it for this place. I wonder, can I just press this button to just, like, skip to getting out of here? It'll take about an hour. Oh, so you can warp back. But it takes an hour. No, I can find it on my own. No need to waste the time.
Return the car? Mm-hmm. With their leader dead, only its minions throughout the town remain. Fortunately, the remaining townsfolk seem to have the matter in hand. I can leave them to rebuilding their lives. Good luck, people of... of... what was this place called? Stonesport? Pretty sure it's Stonesport. It's something sport. I think that's a no. Yeah, that's a no. Alright, where to now? Well, I need ammo. So, let's go here. It's the closest place. 60 miles, not too bad. You received a text from a family member. Let's open it. I know that what you're doing is important. I don't know how I know, but I feel it. Do what you have to do, and make sure you come back to us. Gain sanity. Aw, thank you. Destination reached. Eleven twenty seven AM. Four borough? Borough? Four borough? The atmosphere is tense here, as news has spread of the darkness infecting neighboring towns. Besides that, I cannot sense the shadow's influence. For now. Alright, I need ammo. Let's find supplies. After an hour, I found the following items on sale from individual from individuals content to not ask questions. Ooh, body armor. Can't even afford can't even afford it, but that would be nice. Alright, well the armor piercers are cheaper. I'm thinking the hollow points are probably better against flesh. Not entirely sure. I don't know much about ammo types. Wait, what exactly am I buying one one shot? I'm actually buying one shot, aren't I? Oh my god. Alright, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm actually only buying one shot. Oh boy. Well, now I'm poor. Let's look for work. A book needs to be delivered to the town of Almsing. It is not a pressing matter, but important. And it needs to be there within 17 hours. The job pays 10 pounds. It's 150 miles to the northwest. Uh, alright. I take the job and will need to travel to the stricken town as soon as possible. Let's return to the car. Alright, there's Elm Singh. Well, I guess I can make my way there. I did just buy ammo. So, let's go ahead and head to here. Yep, clear this place out and then hit up Elm Singh. Where I can deliver the book, get my money, and buy new supplies. Time is ticking away. 67. I stopped momentarily to double-check the road map and noticed lights on in a nearby building, just a short way down a side road. It would hardly be a lengthy diversion to briefly check on the place. I may find assistance, or people who need it. Let's, uh, let's investigate. The light belonged to a small garage that appears to be still operating. The owner is a stocky and oddly haunted fellow. Oh, uh, the owner, a stocky and oddly haunted fellow, explained that since the shadow fell, he saw it as his duty to make sure people get to where they need to be. He was impressed at the state of my car, considering, and has offered to boost the engine's top speed, if I can spare him two hours and fifteen pounds. Well, I can spare you two hours, but not fifteen pounds. I don't have the money. Reject. <laughs> You received a text from a family member. Please listen to me. None of it is real. There are no monsters. You had a breakdown. The doctors can help. We miss you. <sighs> and there goes my sanity. Anxiety seems to be getting the better of me. I feel hot and nauseous, and my hands won't stop shaking. Hopefully it will pass. 
Alright. Let's enter this place. The people of this town have been welcoming. Perhaps too much so. They smile, but rarely blink, and invite me to some private meeting place within minutes of conversation. When this happens, others pull me aside and warn me off. Many have been taken, they say, and return changed. I hear disquieting tales of physical transformations concealed behind clothing and cosmetics. I'm convinced that a dark power operates beneath the surface, infecting bodies and minds wherever its oily tendrils settle. Let's investigate further. A small amount of surveillance has revealed a pattern to the behavior of the possessed townspeople. I frequently see them coming and going from an ornamental public park that forms the town's centerpiece. The park is severely overgrown, perhaps deliberately, so it is unclear what happens to the people who go in there. The only way to find out is to mount what may turn into a jungle expedition. Investigate. Find and exterminate the large creature bewitching this town. Alright, let's go with hollow points for now. I'm gonna try to use melee. Ooh, I probably should have healed myself when I was in the car. At least, I, I think you can heal yourself when you're in the car. It says, like, med supplies 100%. Hmm. Well, I'll have to wait for that. Just gotta remember, don't freak out. I can use melee, maybe. Depends what it tries to attack me. Hmm. I've got four lockpicks. 15% chance. Eh. Maybe I'll find a key for it or something. I can always come back to it. In the language of the ancients, the syllable KZ is usually given as a name, but has also various, variously been written to denote the concepts of fear, paranoia, and anxiety. Exi anxiety. Hmm. I could potentially use that in the future for a minor incantation. bit of damage there. I found a very old 9mm ammunition box with two bullets remaining. Alright, I'm assuming these are standard shots. Probably much cheaper than the other ones. I guess I should save the other shots for bosses of some sort. Mostly garbage. But there's a piece of sturdy wire I could probably twist into a lockpick. So all, it looks like all entrances to that place is locked. Or, all entrances are locked, to be grammatically correct. What is that? A body lies at my feet. The poor wretch's limbs have been broken and twisted into hideous angles. It must have been a painful end. Ugh. Alright, I'm gonna try to melee you. more damage. But it did save ammo. But ammo doesn't matter if you're dead. For some reason, a perfectly functional lockpick has been left here. Perhaps to be recovered later. There's a corpse here. Their body appears unharmed, but the face is contorted into a silent scream of agony. Seems to be a recurring theme. I think maybe I should have shot it in the head. 
I just used a ton of ammo and took a ton of damage too. I'm so gonna die. The God of Pain is not the God attempting to... What the hell does that say? I have trouble reading kind of cursive text. Is not the God attempting to... something. I know you're reading this scholar? Your actions will be here for far than you could... Okay. I'm not entirely sure what that said. Found clue. Dungeon complete. Right, so I guess the god of pain is not the god that I need to banish. Invading god. That's what that says. Invading. Okay. I can read. I just learned how to read. Level up. Yeah, I'm guessing headshots are probably really important. Assuming shooting them in the head actually does more damage, which it probably does. So I do want to check out that check out that locked place, but let me go to the place I have not been yet to see if I can find a key or something like that. I know there's more enemies in here, so I can freely move about. Someone left their keyring here. Hopefully I can open all the doors now. Sweet. The E rune has been inscribed on the wall here. I believe it to be a curse or intentional blasphemy. Spitefully directed at the subject of the rune. Same as the last one. All right, what's in here? There's a dented old cash box here containing around six pounds and change. Sweet. Well, it wasn't much, but it was worth it. Time to leave. Return to the car? Mm-hmm. The townsfolk are not immediately better off with the extermination of the creature behind their enslavement. There have been several murders and suicides already, as the memories of their actions returned. The best thing I can do for them now is leave, is leave them to heal. Right, let's look at my med supplies. Ooh. I see. So 20% would heal 20% of your health. In that case, I'm almost entirely out. That's not good. Alright, well, let's complete this quest. Need to buy more supplies anyway. I've been forced to stop by the sudden appearance of some kind of commotion ahead of the car. A physical argument between several bodies. By the looks of it, something in the center of the mass is being quite violently dealt with. Is this any of my business? Hell yeah, stop and intervene. The altercation appears to be between a small group of loudish young men and another prone individual whom they are kicking and spitting on. One of the youths instructs me not to interfere, stating that they have caught one of them. I can't get a clear look of the victim through the many attacking legs. Let's make those little shit stop. Having gone between them and their sport, the thugs turn their attention to me. They work off their frustrations for a few minutes before growing bored with my refusal to cry out and going about their business. 
The victim, bloodied but conscious, explains that a misunderstanding arose because he had made a delivery to a place be believed to be uh, believed by the locals to be suspicious. It isn't far by foot, and may be worth investigating. Yeah, let's investigate. Satisfied that the injured man can get by on his own from here, I set off to follow his directions to the infected place. I hope that I am prepared. Find and clear out. Three rooms where minions of the shadow are congregating. Alright. And Newt with almost no ammo whatsoever. Wonderful. Gotta remember. Headshots. I've recovered two armor-piercing bullets with bullets which seem to have been held as a keepsake or trophy. Excellent. Leaving a room with monsters alive reduces your sanity. Oh, I didn't even know there were monsters in there. Thank you for telling me. I will go back. Oh god. Oh god, run! Alright, those aren't, those aren't too hard to take out. They might not be worth shooting. Whoa, what's that? What does that effect mean? Is that because of my sanity? Whoa. Ow. Oh god. Do oh, I'm starting to shake. Starting to shake. Yep. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Fuck, fuck, f oh god. Oh god. Run, r I'm dead. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I didn't, um, <clears throat> didn't exactly handle that one like uh, a pro. I don't know, it's, there's something about the combat system that makes it really difficult for me to do anything. Level 3. Hmm, I wonder what that actually does. Like, I've, I've heard that the... What you do in previous lives will carry over in, to some degree to your next ones. But what exactly does it do? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. It's just the combat system is very confusing to me. Everything is kind of laggy, sort of. So when a bunch of stuff is happening, I'm trying to react to it very quickly. It just ends up with me flailing about doing almost nothing. Really strange. Hopefully I'll get better at it. Anyway, let's begin a new journey. Again, it's randomly generated, so no problem. Oh, oh. I could spend upgrade tokens. Sweet. Hmm. What do I need the most? Well. I died because I ran out of health, so let's spend it there. And... Let's increase 9mm capacity. Let's look for a job here.
I feel quite buoyed by the clean air here, and the people are friendly enough. It can only be a matter of time before this town catches the Shadow's attention. Do I want to buy supplies? I think I do. Can I fit more? No, I'm full. Oh, that was a waste of time. Look for work. An urgent call for investigation has come down from Burport after a series of disappearances. 33 will be paid to anyone who can offer a solution within six hours. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a lot of money, but it means I need to head straight there. Let's do it. Alright, um, hmm. Thing is, if I hit up this place, I'm not going to have a chance to resupply before I go to Burport. But what's the alternative? Go here, go back, and then go here, and then go there. I don't even know if I have time for that. I can go all the way around, but I probably don't have time for that. I just gotta go straight, straight through. Let's try it. You received a text from the Ministry of Occultism. Um, okay. Encounters with the police will go worse if your sanity is low. They have a way of overreacting to odd behavior. Especially these days. Hmm. Good to know. This town is in Pandemonium. Alright, so same as that one town back there. Investigate. I've managed to narrow down the source of the hordes to an appropriately distasteful looking building. Possibly an unfinished housing project. I can look up and see monstrosities on wings like pigskin taking off from the roof. These creatures are just organized enough to have something in there taking a leadership role. If I can take that out, perhaps I can save this town. Alright, got another leader. Another victim of the shadow. They died with their limbs drawn up and their hands covering their face, desperately trying to block out the nightmare around them. Oh, what the fuck was that? Was that even a melee attack or was that a... What is that noise? What is that noise? <laughs> ah, wasted ammo again. I've been gravely wounded and the bleeding won't stop. That treatment I fear will only get worse. I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh, fuck. Alright, I'm gonna shoot you. Apparently that was a boss. It didn't even look like a piece of machinery, but okay. Bayarla doesn't appear to be able to physically survive in our universe. The threat it poses to us is very real, but thankfully indirect. Okay, so it's not the one. Alright, nothing left here. I am gravely wounded, but I'm gonna look for supplies. Doesn't look like I'm dying that fast. And when the king recovered, he displayed his bedsheets, which had become stained orange with pus. Ugh. From the day forth, orange would be the color most beloved to the god of disease. That's disgusting. Snack food. Energy boost. I, I'm assuming that's health.
Ooh. The Shim rune has been inscribed on the wall here. It appears to be a staking of claim or mark of territory. All right, let's get the hell out of here and patch up my wounds. With their leader dead, only its minions throughout the town remain. They have it in hand, and they can rebuild. Alright, so I probably need to go to a doctor to get my wounds healed, I'm assuming. Like, even though I'm at full health, I'm probably... Yeah, I'm still bleeding. Alright. Well... Hmm... I'm just gonna go to Burport. Then hope I can make it after that to somewhere, because I, I need to go straight there. I'm going to fail the mission. Whoa. Thump. I only dozed off for a moment. Something hit my bumper, rattled across the roof, and landed in a heap behind the car. I gripped the steering wheel, momentarily paralyzed with horror at what I could have just done. Let's find out what I hit. <laughs> My heart fell inch by inch as I approached the unmoving shape in the road and confirmed that it was human. A large bearded man in several layers of old clothing, probably been sleeping rough. His eyes are open and dead. The horror is a cold, petrifying thing draped across my brain like a soaking wet blanket. But there are too many lives at stake to dwell. A small amount of currency amounting to five has spilled out of the dead man's pockets, and I decided he wouldn't need it anymore. I am unable to meet my own gaze in the rearview mirror. Oh god. That is not good. I'm brought to the problematic area, and told that payment will be made once the problem is dealt with. I don't think the locals fully understand, but they showed much relief and gratitude as I made my way inside. Oh great, there's another large creature, and I have four shots. Well, I'm gonna die. Also, I'm losing my mind. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Gotta time that just right to avoid getting hurt. Small tool that could function as a lockpick. Cool. Oh, key ring. Probably don't we need probably won't need the lockpick then. Taking of claim. Wait, orange. That's associated with the with the concept of disease, for whatever that's worth. <sighs> Trying to time that is like impossible. My arm was broken in the fight. I can still fire my gun, but the pain could be more than my mind can bear. Holy shit! <sighs> a bee thing just broke my arm. Son of a bitch. The carving dates back to at least 6,000 BC and depicts... I, I don't know how to pronounce this stuff. Defeating and casting out a figure labeled the God of Fear. It appears to have been intended as an insult to a rival faith. Okay. Somehow I don't think those clues are going to be helpful. I mean, I don't think I'm going to live long enough for those clues to be any help at all. Half key. Oh god. Die, 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 die. Alright, I am very close to dead. 
The spell Batishim U, or whatever, how do you say that, induces visions of things to come in the area around you. It can give you the edge you need in dangerous situations. But remember that some sights, when seen, cannot be unseen. Alright, so I guess that reduces your sanity. And I'm already pretty damn near insane. Hmm. Learn spell. Yay. Clairvoyance. I almost want to use it just to see what it does, but... I don't really want my sanity getting any lower than it already is. Let's get the hell out of here and patch up my wounds before I die. Although I might even die before I can actually patch up my wounds. We'll see. Oh god. I thought everything was out of here. What the fuck? Wait. That wasn't even real, is it? It's because I'm losing my mind. The people waiting for me outside seem determined not to ask questions. Upon my assurance that the problem is resolved, they pay without quibble. I wonder if this will be the last time I visit this town. Let's heal with what little I have left. Okay. Should I take drugs? I almost think I should, but I'll hold off for now. Alright, so this place has been cleaned up. Fun hospital. Mm hmm. Treat bleeding. Absolutely treat my bleeding so I can actually live. Refill med kit. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Supplies. Reduces toxic damage. Hmm. I can just afford it. Let's go for it. Text message from a family member. Oh, this is the one that gives me uh, more sanity. Ah, thank you. I needed that. Oh shit, my broken arm. Oh, um, crap. How do I heal that? Was there an option in the hospital to heal my broken arm? Or do I just need to wait? Whoa. <laughs> my sanity really isn't too good, is it? Shoot myself as appearing with random options. Treat broken arm. Insuff oh, right, I just spent all my money. Wonderful. Hmm. <sighs> I make such good decisions, don't I? So... Let's get a job. Supplies need to be delivered? Mm-hmm. Alright. Let's go to here and then hit up Old Burrow. You received a text from an unknown number. Hmm. I think I'm gonna pass on that one. It's probably something creepy. Alright. Overly welcoming. The Beerit 
the bewitched residents of the town turned oddly recalcitrant when I actively began to probe for the location of their meeting place. But I've now pieced it together. An extremely modern building in the town's central business district, apparently paid for by some unspecific religious group. I will attempt to maintain the persona of an interested potential recruit, although my instincts tell me that a disguise may become irrelevant once I penetrate the approachable facade. Oh my god. My objective was kill yourself, kill yourself, kill yourself. Yeah, I'm not doing too good. Wait a minute. Did I actually equip? I'm hoping my mask auto-equipped, because I actually forgot to check whether it's equipped. Be really dumb if I just spent money on something, and I'm not even using it. I thought I could run past it. Nope. It didn't do much damage, though. I'm fine. Blessing. Oh, God. Oh, God. My, my sanity is like none. Oh my god, my sanity is so low. My health is fine. Most of the engraving was too weathered to read, but full. Uh, but to read the full banishment mantra, but the last symbol is almost certainly the syllable. Okay. Right, I've got one part of it. One part of it. I need illegal drugs at the moment. I really badly need illegal drugs. Two armor piercing bullets. Well, that's a wonderful sight. Another victim of the shadow. Key ring, though, probably. There's the key ring. How convenient. Oh, God. No, you're not real, are you? No, you're not real. An ancient 9mm pistol with two usable bullets in the clip. cultures have quaint associations with colors. To the ancient Polynesians, white was regarded as the color of love. It was supposed to be the color you see at the very moment of orgasm. New clue! That color white is associated with the concept of lust. Whoops. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. And let's inject some drugs directly into my brain. They're not immediately better off, but I can leave them to heal. Alright, drugs, drugs, take them. Yes. Okay. <sighs> now what? Oh, I can't even go straight there, damn it. Alright, well, this is a safe town. So, that's fine. I have no money, though. 
My headlights have been the only source of illumination for miles, so the single lighted window in the building ahead scythes through the darkness like a high-powered beam. It would hardly be a lengthy diversion to briefly check on the place. I may, fi I may find assistance, or people who need it. Let's investigate. The building is either a church or was converted from one. That became clear as I drew near and saw that the lighted window was stained glass. The main doors were hanging wide open, and a search revealed the place to have been abandoned in a hurry. A small bed-down area was behind the altar with some bedding hastily thrown aside. Here I also found a tin box containing seven bullets and fifteen in cash. I can only hope that the previous owner made it to a better hiding place. That is a damn good find. I'm gonna spend that money on fixing my arm. Text from the Ministry of Occultism? Sure. Narcotics can numb your mind from the horrors around you and keep you sane, but the effect will lessen as you build up a tolerance. Ugh, great. Alright. Hospital. Treat broken arm. Okay. No, I don't want to shoot myself. It's, uh... Looking for work. That is really far away. Not sure I want that. Oh god. No, 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 don't, don't do it. Okay, yeah, it's already equipped. Cool. Oh god, again? Thump. Do I want to know what it is again? Uh, sure. Please don't be another person. Its shape was indistinct in the twilight. I took out my flashlight and shone it at the quivering form. Immediately, an offended squawk rang out and several hideous limbs unfolded from the creature's mass. It wasn't nearly dead enough. I hopped back, fumbling for my gun. Oh god. Oh god. Two armor-piercing bullets. Bullets. Okay. The monsters are dead, and there's nothing more for me here. I return to the car. I've wasted enough time. The package is received by a flustered man dressed not dissimilarly to myself. He is agitated enough that I am forced to awkwardly remind him of the agreed payment before he can run off. Whereupon he throws a handful of notes at me and disappears into the shadows. Weird. What a weirdo. Alright. Hmm. Probably need supplies. Stab proof vest. That'd be awfully nice, but I actually need ammo so I can actually shoot things. Look for work. A sort of semi organized resistance in Twinforth. Need me to fight. Wait a minute. Six hours or less, and it's 224 miles to the east. Holy crap. That's kind of insane. No, I'm sorry. Look again. Supplies need to be delivered. That's also incredibly far. That does not seem worth it. But, I, I guess I'll take it. I don't know. Another text from an unknown number. No. Hmm. 
I can go up there, but I'm going to have to go back where I've already been, which is kind of inefficient, but eh, I'll do it. Forty-six hours. I really don't have much time left. Oh, my sanity is going really low. Yeah, my sanity is about to hit rock bottom. Look at it go down. We the descent into madness. Oh god. Oh my god, I hit something again. No. Oh god. It wants it wants I want to shoot myself apparently. Just drive on. Dr nope, nope. Oh, fuck, I can't stop him. God damn it. <laughs> my sanity was too low. I was clicking as fast as I can. Oh. No surprise, I guess. That gun was so fast, I mashed my click as fast as possible, but nope. Hmm. That's a really cool mechanic. Randomly switching buttons with shoot myself. I like it. It's twisted.